Hey guys, since 2016 was such a letdown and it really sucked with all the celebrity deaths, we had some really good times as well, but I'm wanting to look forward into 2017 and just give an idea of what kind of things Emily and I and just myself will be up to. This year didn't start off so strong. My Nana passed away New Year's Day, but we'll get to that in a minute. First thing of note that happened this year was my Lisa Simpson Friday 13th tattoo. If you've watched the video, you'll know exactly what it looks like. If you haven't, have a click here. Also in January, Emily and I went to this really awesome classic rock night in London where it played like late 90s early 2000s hair metal and all that kind of stuff that we used to listen to it's called break stuff just to give you an idea so it's kind of Limp Bizkit and all that kind of thing and that was amazing yeah we made a whole weekend of it so the following day we went to go and see Train Spotting 2 which is incredible it follows on so well from the first one the next thing I'm really looking forward to is getting more of my leg done I'm currently in the process of having my whole leg done if you want to have a look at what it looks like click here or you can kind of see in the process of getting done at the moment there's still a lot to do up here I've got a day booked in thanks to Emily for my tattoo voucher for Christmas and of course the big thing next month is Disneyland. We are going to Disneyland for about four days, I think it is. Violet's just at that age where I think she can comprehend a little bit more what's going on, and we're gonna have breakfast with the characters, so she's gonna absolutely go crazy for that. But to be honest, it's more of a vacation for Emily and I because we're obsessed with Disney. April is an incredibly busy month for both Emily and I, but I think I've got more going on than she does. This is a really big thing for me. I'm doing a 24 hour gaming marathon in aid of the local hospital that looked after my Nana before she passed away on New Year's Day. They took great care of her and I really want to show my appreciation by doing this. So I'm collecting all of my game consoles, which at last count, I think it was like 12 consoles and five handhelds. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've only just confirmed the date on that, so I've still got a lot of planning to do. Also in April, I'm gonna go and see one of my favorite bands called Rachel Stamp, that I haven't seen in so many years. I think I saw them at Hole in the Wall in Colchester. They are one of my all time favorite bands plus placebo. Next on the list is Insomnia Gaming Festival. It'll be the first time I'm going. I'm taking my nephew Archie with me and it's a whole weekend of gaming throughout the night and all sorts. We can only make it for one day because I couldn't get a time off work unfortunately, but it'll be a good taster to see what it's actually like and then maybe go again next year for the whole weekend. Now the big thing in April is the Whitby Goth Festival that Emily and I are going to, where they open up this whole town called Whitby and they have a goth festival where they have loads and loads of people come from all over the world. They have like cyber goths, traditional goths, lots of steampunk stuff, but really looking forward to going to that. We're going for the weekend. And they have live music in the evenings as well, which should be really good fun. May sees Horicon. This is a big event for us. This will be the third year that it's on, the third year we've gone. Emily has a tattoo from Kane Holder that we went from the last time we went. Basically a horror convention where they get a load of famous people to go and sign and get pictures taken. And they get loads of famous people every year. And this year, they've only announced a couple of people. They got Sid Haig from Devil's Rejects. And I can't wait to meet him. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. And the great thing is you can take stuff to get signed or they have usually have a collection of pictures that you can get signed as well. Plus they have loads of stalls with like scary teddy bears and all sorts of lovely weird cupcakes. July is Violet's birthday, so I'm sure we'll be going to some kind of theme park or zoo or something for that. And August is Emily's birthday, so again, we'll probably end up going to a theme park for that as well, but it's gonna be such an amazing year. Yeah, that's my year in a nutshell, pretty much. If you guys are doing anything fun, if you're getting any tattoos or any piercings planned, please let me know. If you're going anywhere on holiday, let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.